Yeah, no doubt we were the, we were the hunted. Um, we were probably the hunted in 2002 as well. Um, but yeah, we certainly were the, the hunted in 2003. And every week you knew the opposition were getting up to play the Brisbane Lions because we were the side that we were at that time. And, and that was a, a real challenge and a, probably you know, a real feather in the cap as a side. We, you know, we probably wore that as a bit of a badge of honour. And um, as soon as they crossed that white line, we'd uh, basically do anything for each other. And you know, the defenders, the midfielders and the forwards were across the board were extremely unified. Still in play, Brown keeps it in, twisting and turning. Brown with a banana! That is magnificent! We started the year really strongly after after winning to that, the, the grand final in 2002. And yeah, it was good to get off to a, a really good start, but there's no doubt throughout two, 2003, we had a lot of struggles um, throughout that year as well. To Voss. Go. I don't think I ever really questioned it was over, but I do remember probably a real, quite a watershed moment throughout the year where we came off, came off after one of those losses and the players got together and, and Michael Voss, you know, our, our captain, said, boys, I'm not sure I can trust everyone within the side anymore. Um, and he went on to say, you know, when it's your turn to put your head over the ball, I'm not sure everyone in the room's willing to do that. And, um, you know, that, that was a really pivotal moment in our season as a group. For Vossi to say that, being the, the, the player and the person that he is, um, was, a, was a real watershed for, moment for us, and I think we, we responded from it. Lynch, Pike, around the body, he's kicked four! Oh, sensational stuff from Martin Pike! Will Sydney be made to pay in the last minute? Ackermanis, it's a big kick. Not quite big enough, but it's still in. And McRae. Yeah, look, the Sydney game was one of the most memorable games throughout my career, quite clearly, right up there in the top handful of games. It was an incredible game out at Homebush, the Olympic Stadium there, 70,000 people, amazing atmosphere. What I distinctly remember is the third quarter where Sydney came with us and came with us and came with us and they had all the momentum and, and we were you know, off, our, off our feet basically. We, we were running out of puff and um, one of the, uh, the great speeches that Lee Matthews ever has given um, I think is the three quarter time speech at that game in the preliminary final where he spoke about the, the journey he'd been on the previous um, two and three quarter years if you like and how special we are to, you know, to fight through the tough times and he spoke about where we are right now guys is yeah they've got the momentum but we can fight our way out of this and, 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 and win this game. Throughout this last quarter, when you're hurting, late in the quarter, late in the game, when you're really hurting, don't ever forget that. What, what we can achieve would be um, you know, historic and extremely special. Carousella, good handball to Black. Black from 40 has kicked a goal. Brisbane get another one. History says we're able to go out in that last quarter and, and, um, and turn the table on Sydney and run over the top of them. And, an extremely memorable and uh, fantastic win. 71,019 people tonight have watched Brisbane win their way into their third successive grand final. Look, we went into that grand final in 2003 as um, probably the underdogs. I mean, Collingwood had beaten us three or four weeks earlier in the first week of the final. So, um, you know, we knew it was going to be a very tough game. They were, they were red hot. The dual premiers also refusing to give details on an injury to star midfielder Nigel Lappin. Look, I remember the night before we trained at, at uh, Albert Park there and um, Aaron Shattuck giving um, Nigel the, the fitness test and uh, we barreling him and smashed him to the ground and so it seemed like he's just, this fitness test went on for forever and, um, and Nigel just, just toughed it out and toughed it out and I think Shatz was probably trying to get a game and <laughs> just trying to barrel him but um, Nigel, you know, we all know how tough and what a courageous, fantastic player he was and um, he managed to, to get up for the game and, and play very well and you know, he's just Superman to do what he did that day. They're on the brink of immortality, three in a row. Yeah, it's extremely nerve wracking. Um, I mean, I'm a player, but I get very nervous playing any week, so playing the grand final um, is yeah, you get terribly nervous. You know, I remember welling up and have tears in my eyes, just the that genuine love for your teammates that you had. Um, you know, all that you've been through to get to that point, that, that grand final day, and I was probably a spectator out there as much as anything else, looking at the big crowd and being a bit of all, all of the MCG packed. So the, um, the third time it came around, I was certainly a lot more um, comfortable um, being out there. For Bristol, the grand final of 2003 is underway. 
Kenny got first punch to it. Brown tried to slap it forward. Got caught high up by let it go. Brown down in the middle of the ground. Brown's down and Brown is hurt. Yeah, it was a rough start. I remember, yeah, Brownie copping a big whack from Scotty Burns early in the game, coming off the square. And I remember it was just all grand finals are tight and tough early, and um, and, and that was the case um, with ours. And remember Litchie kicking a goal very early in the game, and um, that helped settle our nerves and, and helped to, uh, to balance us up, I suppose, as a side. Who handles into space? Hadley runs onto it. Left foot snap, and the rookies kick the goal. Charman, another belt forward by Brisbane Carousella. Somehow got it out to McGrath, to Black, on his favourite side. Left foot kick is right through the middle. I remember coming at half time and thinking, yeah, this is you know, a really good opportunity here for us to, uh, to win this. We knew by no means the game was over, but we were right on top and, um, and we really wanted to uh, put the foot on the throat and, um, and finish it off in that third quarter, and that's what we are able to do. Foss, 50 out, trying to sell the dummy unsuccessfully. Got it out to Black, Black to Akamanis, can he win some more? I suppose personally just really enjoyed it. It's the most I've ever enjoyed a game of footy and I think if you ask most of the guys in the team that the, the last quarter, the last 30 minutes, to be able to know that you've you know, you've a really good chance of winning the game and, and therefore the, the enjoyment that you have um, playing the grand final, knowing that you're going to win it um, in the last half an hour is, is as much as you ever enjoy football. You know, sort of running around with half a smile on your face and, and having a bit of a giggle at times too. It was, uh, it was great and to, to know that you, it was going to be the third one in a row was um, Extremely, extremely special and as good as football gets, I'd imagine. Couldn't get any better than that, it was incredible. Yeah, I remember it like it was yesterday. Yeah, it was, you know, when you're a kid and you just you just can't be any happier. You're sort of giggling and laughing and like, how good is this? <laughs> can't get any better. And they were bear hugging each other and um, I'm surprised he didn't try and kiss me and stick his tongue on me. He was that, he's that elated, the big fella. So, um, no, it was a wonderful moment and, um, and something I really cherish. The Norm Smith Fiddlers for 2003, Simon Black. <laughs> it's a bit rattled, I mean, getting up there and saying how good is this, it's probably just exactly what I was feeling, yeah, um, probably something pretty silly to say, but um, I was just that full of elation and um, it was a pretty surreal moment, pretty ridiculous really for um, someone that would have been happy with one or two games and been shown the door um, when I first came. The other stuff, yeah, it's fantastic, but it's all about winning the, the Premiership and that, uh, that dangly that you get with the uh, 21 other mates that you, uh, you run out there with, that's what it's all about, so that's the, that's a special medal to win.